viewers for the channel physics for us time dilation is the topic which we are going to discuss today time dilation is such a beautiful topic it is not only a concept of where we study only in quantum mechanics it is a concept which is now being experimented in many uh, movies and avenger series and we can see there is always something people are curious about to know this time travel so time travel is also derived from time dilation only so time dilation is a concept which was originally been explained by albert einstein in his general theory of relativity in 1905 so he he claimed that the clock in the rest frame will move faster than the clock in a moving frame he will always try to establish the symmetry between the physical parameters like length mass and you know time in a rest frame how it is behaving and the same thing in a moving frame how these parameters are little changing or little there is a impact in their behavior all this symmetric explanation was given by einstein so according to his theory let us suppose that this black pen is a clock at rest and this orange pen this is a orange clock which is just simply keep moving so when you see this orange clock it will run very slow i will not say very slow it runs slower when compared to the clock at rest so that is the concept so if this black colored clock is going to be the earth and this orange colored clock is going to travel in space then we say that in space it can be only one day when you measure the time but whereas for the earth it is going to be some million years this is time dilation so there is a difference in time when it is measured in the rest frame and it is measured in a moving frame this is called time dilation and as you all have watched the movie the very popular movie interstellar where they have explained this time dilation concept the hero of the movie travels to the space and he says that when he's in the uh, verge of a black hole of the worm hole so inside the worm hole or a black hole we know that the laws of physics are not going to obey so it is a key plot of the movie is surrounding by this time dilation in the surface of the black hole one hour is equivalent to 7 years on earth due to time dilation the hero of the movie tries to undergo the space travel and when he is leaving to space his 6 years old daughter will be only like in the 6 years but after he returns he can see his own daughter lying in a dead bed and she is more aged she is like a grandmother she will be in her last breathing phase so means that several hours in the space is equivalent to so many years on earth so this quantity actually differs from you know uh, from our conception only so it is like in vedic period they say that yugas they they say something like uh, yugas and uh, muhurtas they calculate the time how we calculate the time in minutes and seconds so they calculate the time accordingly so if you see in the movie interstellar the physicist by name kip thorn he collaborated in making the film and he explained the scientific concept in his book called the science of interstellar so there is also a time dilation being explained in a series by name doctor who the episodes namely world enough and time and the doctor falls where we can see a spaceship in the vicinity of a black hole due to the immense gravitational pull of the black hole the ship length is going to be say like 400 miles such a big ship the time is being mentioned in hindu puranas epics about 2400 years ago So the story says that King Kakudmi he was a ruler of a very vast kingdom and he was prominent and a powerful king he had only one daughter his girl child by name Revathi princess Revathi was supposed to be very beautiful and talented and the king adored her dearly so as princess Revathi attained her marriage age king Kakudmi began to worry that he cannot find a suitable husband for all her skills and talents so being consumed by this kind of worries king kakudmi took revathi with him to the home of brahmas so the god of creation to ask for help to find a suitable match for his daughter revathi upon reaching the brahma lok they waited patiently because brahma was listening to a musical performance so they had to wait for few couple of minutes finally when king kakudmi got his chance he bowed and he made the request that he wanted to find a suitable husband for his daughter so the king, brahma said that the people you know the potential suitors that you had in your mind for your beloved daughter by now they would all have died and passed away and so have their grandson and their granddaughters and all so brahma then goes on be explaining time runs differently on different places of existence during the time king and revathi had waited to see brahma roughly 27 chatur yugas which is almost approximately 113 million years had passed on earth 
everything that Kakudmi had owned, his family, his treasures, would have vanished with this time. The king and his daughter, who were really shocked and with sorrow, they were pleading to Brahma that some solution had to be brought for this. Brahma had promised that you find Balarama, the brother of Lord Krishna, and he will be the suitable husband for your daughter. On returning back to earth, king and the Revati, they found everything was different from the time they left. The landscapes, the people, and everything had changed. So somehow the king managed to find uh, Balarama, the brother of Lord Krishna, and who later accepted Revati as his wife. So this is a very, uh, it's a very story. Some people claim that this is only a story, this is only imagination. But in every part of Hindu Vedas, this is always been written. So even you will be like very surprised when I say in Namalvar Vedas also there is a mention on time travel. There is a mention on there was a spaceship which Krishna had used which was traveling which was traveling with the speed of light. It was traveling even faster than speed of light. Our Hindu gods and goddesses and the Hindu Vedic literature, they all seem to believe that world of science and they were flowing with the science laws of nature. So this is all about time dilation. If you have really enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put your likes, shares and comments. Thank you. Thank you so much.